So now that we have that, I wanted to explain that as we did in the fascia adjustment, the cloth, you can do that. You can make do just with that and not do that much pressure, not do that much um, difference in the resonance scale. And you can just go with that. You can really go with that and, and it, it will work pretty well for uh, like uh, uh, animals that um, has really uh, thin skin, just like a lion or something like that. You can add a couple of uh, attachments. As you can see, all the attach constraints have a sliding rate and you can multiply that with an attribute. So you can paint an attribute for the sliding and you will have some sliding. And then with something like a lion as an example or, or an animal that you can really see the muscles and, and the sliding going on, but they don't have that much fat um, because they are fast and, the, and they, they run a lot. Um, you can just do one pass and with just one cloth pass, do everything. And, and you have the, uh, you don't have fascia and fat and all of that. You just have one cloth pass, which can be almost the final skin. And that's pretty much it. But if you have, as we have this guy, which is just like, let's grab it. So, which is like that. And it should look like that because it comes from model and the model shouldn't change that much. It, it, you must feel uh, the jiggle and you must feel all, the, all, all those things, but you uh, shouldn't change uh, to something like that. That's an error that a lot of people do at the beginning because this looks so cool. So let's try to make this look like this. No, they model this because they want to see this in the render. So you shouldn't be doing this. This is just for moving uh, this. So we can do the same thing. Let's grab these guys and let's pull it just right here. Let's see. This is a little too much, something like that. And just a tetrahedra. Let's try to copy the same values we already have. Right there. Oh, this guy is going to be this guy, this guy is going to be this guy, and this guy is going to be the attachment. So we are attaching this geometry here. You can see right there the attachments. And again, same principle here. So because there's a lot of distance between those points, there will be much more jiggle here than, for example, here. And that's a little bit how uh, the fat inside the body works. Well, it doesn't work like that, but you know, it's like the way to try to emulate that in a way. Okay, so we already have our sim, and as you can see, it's really, really fast. We are not deforming that much, but we have the jiggle that we need. So it's really simple. It's really easy. We all know that this is the guy that the, the uh, render guys want. So this is the guy that we will do. So again, point form. Uh, we can just copy and paste this one. And this is going to oh. That's not what I want. Never mind. Point the form. So let's deform this guy, which right now moving at all. There's no skin cluster. There's nothing there. Everything comes from the simulation. And let's let's just flag these guys around here. And now we have our guy smooth and all. Everything is nice. There are some jiggles here and there, but I will teach you a trick to, to get rid of that. Yes, sometimes it happens with Vellum, especially with these fast simulations that work with um, uh, just one sub-step. But we can try and move 300 frames, no travels. I don't know if this guy has, no, it doesn't have. Let's do another QB on that, so we can see something happening there. Great. We remember how that works. I don't remember at all. Well, let's just keep it that way. Mm. 
you can see how everything is deforming. There's some stretching. Maybe we could use some skin sliding right there. But in general terms, we have really, really nice deformations. These volumes are really, really, really nice. It's really hard to get these kind of volumes and deformations just with the skin cluster. You have to paint a lot of stuff. And also we have the jiggle. So we still have some troubles in the armpits. That uh, happens. You can fix that really, really easily just when needed. Using shot scoping. And we already have a really nice path simulated. And the simulation is almost real time. Just for me, because I've spent a lot of years with Ziva and waiting for for the simulation to to end. So the this Pasha simulation that we did and it was like three and a half minutes and now the path simulation I will just hit reset. I will just go to the last frame to see how much it takes to do 300 frames just to keep in mind <laughs> all of you that we can do amazingly fast iterations so we can do lots of tests, lots of changing numbers, lots of, of polishing, lots of whatever you want in literally 27, 27 seconds. Great. That's really, really great. Okay. So now we have that. Amazing. So Next step will be to try and do some more simulations and then we will try to make it clean and easy and do everything all at once. Great. See you in the next one.